Yo, what's up YouTube? Coach Jisu here. Today I'm going to show you a really good tip, well, a series of tips on how to reduce your lag. That's right, your network delay. Not a lot of people know how to do this, but it makes a big difference. So stay tuned. So the first things first, um, we have our files up here, but before we start, the best thing to do is to create a system restore point. So go ahead and type in restore point um, in the search box there. That's going to bring up your system properties here. Um, and down here, you're just going to want to click create. Give it some kind of name like um, before ping um, reduction or something, something like that, right? And just go ahead and hit create. It's going to go ahead and create a system restore point for you so that just in case you run these settings and you don't like how it feels afterwards or it didn't work for you, or maybe you have a lower end system and it's too intensive for your PC, then you can always go back. So that's step one. Once that's done, you're just going to hit OK and OK. All right. Now, the second thing that we are going to do is we want to make sure that you are playing on a wired connection and not a wireless connection if you are um, on a PC. So make sure your Ethernet adapter is plugged in. Head on over here to the right where it says uh, your network adapter information. You're going to want to click on network settings and, and internet settings. Now here you could just turn it off here, but we're just going to open this up. And now we're going to click on Wi-Fi. Uh, you can also just type in Wi-Fi and it'll come, come up as well. You're going to make sure that this is turned off. Even if you're plugged in and make sure that this is turned off. You don't want to have any like accidental Wi-Fi connections while you're playing. Um, in terms of turning it back on, make sure you set this to manual as well. That would be great. Um, next up, we're going to be connecting to Google DNS. So from here, we're going to go into uh, network settings. Just uh, type in network settings. And then go to your uh, Ethernet here. You can click on change adapter options from here. You're going to go to your Ethernet. Um, so make sure you're not doing this on the Wi-Fi. You're doing it on the actual Ethernet one. Click on properties. From here, you're going to go into Internet Protocol um, version 4, IPv4. Then click on properties again. By default, this will say obtain DNS servers um, address automatically. You're going to want to click on use the following DNS server address. And then you're going to type in 8888 as the preferred DNS server. And for the alternative DNS server, you're going to type in 8844. And this is going to help you speed up your connection and, and routing uh, to Google's DNS servers. Click OK, click Close. Uh, just close down these windows. And you're set. Um, now, this next one is quite detailed, so we're going to take some time and go through this. So type in device manager from here. Once you open up your device manager, you're going to go down and you're going to find your uh, networking adapters. Click on that one. From here, you're going to click into your Ethernet controller. Click properties. The first thing we want to do when we're in here is we want to go to the power management. We want to make sure that there's no power management being set on the Ethernet. So I think by default, this has allowed us to uh, turn the computer off to save power. Just uncheck that. Uncheck that. Okay, now the next one that we want to do is go into the advanced settings. And you're going to want to just kind of follow through and copy the settings I have here. Um, I will note, this is very important though. This is very important. If you have a beefy computer, so I'm talking like more than four cores, more than four threads, then continue to follow along. If you have a lower end computer or a lower end PC, um, don't do any of these settings. It's just going to be too intensive on your CPU. But if you do have a faster computer, this is going to really help to make um, your internet connection a little bit more responsive. So um, for beefy PCs, continue. For lower end PCs, just go ahead and skip ahead. All right, so for the BC, BB uh, computers, we're going to go ahead and click ARP offload. We're going to have that as disabled. Uh, DMA, we're going to have this as disabled. 
um, enable PME. That's going to be keep this enabled. Um, in terms of sorry, this uh, enable PME is not supposed to be disabled. I think I accidentally had that on there. Uh, energy efficiency. We want to have this set as off. Flow state really important. Keep this one as disabled. Uh, gigabyte master slave mode. Um, sorry, force master mode. So have this one set as force master mode. Um, internet uh, moderation. Make sure this is disabled. Internet moderation rate. That that is off. Uh, TCP. Uh, sorry, IP4 checksum offload. Set this is disabled. Uh, jumbo packet set that is disabled uh, both for the large send offload for uh, four and six on the IPV have those set as disabled uh, this one just leave it don't touch that one log link state event make sure you have this one set as disabled maximum number of RSS queries so if you have a really good PC like a cores or higher and the way you can just quickly confirm that, just go to your task manager, hit the performance tab, and in your performance tab, click on the CPU, and uh, you can check your logical processors here. If you have more than eight cores and more than eight threads, then I would set this one to one queue. But if you have something lower end than like lower than eight, um, then I would just set it to two. Um, this just says how fast, like how frequent it should be trying to connect to the internet here. So, um, one's fine. NS offload set that disabled. Um, for this one, the uh, pack variety, make sure you have this set to disabled. That's important. Receive buffers. So up this to 2048, um, selective suspend have disabled. Selective suspend idle timeout. Uh, I left mine at five. Split and duplex is fine to have this as um, auto. Um, if you feel like for some reason when you do your speed test though and you're not getting full internet speed and you have like a gigabyte connection, you can just select one gigabyte's full duplex. But for most people, leaving it as auto is fine. Uh, for both the next values here, have these both as disabled. Transmit buffers, you can go ahead and up that to 2048. UDP check some offload um, for both of these have these set as disabled wait for link state state have that as off um, this next one here magic packet disabled wait on link settings disabled magic packet disabled click on pattern match disabled so that's everything um, for the advanced area here once you're done with that go ahead and click OK it's going to apply those settings all right, our next set here is um, I've included in the folder here a low ping.bat. And what this does is more or less it disables all the Windows um, background services and settings that are running and taking up network services. And this is going to make a huge difference in your ping um, for sure. It does not have to run through all those various network things like you just go directly through. So um, you're going to want to right click this, run this as administrator. And then click OK. Uh, it's going to go through and update all of the various information here. Once that's done, go ahead and just close it. Um, so that's huge. Uh, for In order for these things to take um, effect, you need to restart your computer. But we're not going to restart right away. OK, we're going to keep going through. There's a few more things that we need to do. So next thing we need to do is install TCP optimizer. Once you have it installed, search for TCP optimizer. Go ahead and right click that. Run it as administrator. Okay, it's going to take a second to load up here. Once it's loaded up, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to custom. And it's at the bottom here. It's hard to see, but down here at the bottom, you're going to click custom. And you're going to pretty much want to copy all of my settings here. Um, the only thing that I would change is if your connection speed is less than 100 megabytes per second. Um, and you can find that out by doing a speed test. Just update this to whatever your connection speed is. So if you only have a 20 megabytes per second connection speed, 
just drag that over there. I have a hundred plus. So I'm going to leave it to the far right. Uh, so MTU type in one, four, nine, two. Um, you're going to want to come down here and you're going to want to type in, um, TCP window auto tuning, set that to normal, uh, window scaling disabled. Um, you're going to want to set the control provider to CTCP, um, RSS enabled, RSC disabled, time to live, just keep that at 64 or update to 64 if it's not ECN disabled, pretty much all these and then below that you want to have those all set to disabled as well. Um, and now you're not going to click apply yet. Go to the advanced settings over here on the top. Change the top two numbers here to 10 max connections per server, 10 and 10. Um, over here in terms of the host resolution priority, you're going to want to type four, five, six, seven in sequence. For the retransitions, set this to two and then disabled. For the RTO, set this to 2000 and then 300. Uh, for the max and the min over on the right hand side here, uh, you're going to want to set the first value here for the non best effort limit to zero. Uh, QoS, do not use NLA, set that to optimal one. Network throttling, important, you want to set this to disabled, FFF. System response to this, you're going to want to set this one to gaming, uh, the best. Um, PCP act frequency, set this to disabled. No delay, set this to enabled. Um, TCP DL act picks, set, set that to disabled. Network memory allocation, large system cache, default, a size default one. Uh, user port, set this, to, set this to 65534, and time to wait delay to 32. Um, so once all these are inputted, you're gonna be pretty much set. You're gonna wanna hit apply. It's going to ask if you want to back things up. Don't worry about it because we already set our system restore point. So we're going to go ahead and just click OK. Once this is done applying the settings, it's going to ask you if you want to restart your computer. You're going to say, no, you do not want to restart your computer yet. OK, you don't want to restart yet and just go ahead and hit exit. OK, um, so we have now set the lower ping. We've We've made our changes to a network adapter. We've done the TCP optimizer. There's a few other small things that we want to just go through quickly to ensure that we have low ping. Um, and the next one here is you're going to want to go to your task manager and you're going to want to go over to startup. And I haven't done this in a while. I've installed a few things. So there's there's a few programs in here that I like I don't want to run at startup. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is like just go through this list. So I'm going to quickly do it like iTunes. I don't want that. Um, Epic pen. I don't want that to come. Uh, this is like something for my kids iPad. You know what I mean? And so start going through and disabling things that you don't need like overwolf program. I don't even know what that is. We're going to disable that snap camera flex uh, back mod. I don't want that at start. I'll run that when I need to um, uh, voice mod. I'm going to keep running because I use it for my soundboard uh, GitHub. Don't need that right away. Uh, Steam, you want to make sure Steam is enabled. I like running my Microsoft Teams on startup because I use it right away for work. Um, Stream Deck, I need that. Um, your audio services, keep those running. Security, you're going to want to keep that running. Um, GoLXR stuff, I'm going to keep that running. I don't need this. PS4, I'm going to disable that. Um, so now in terms of like things that I have running, I, I only have some minimum services here and a lot of services like Spotify, MSI, Alexa, all these things you want to disable anything like Adobe, uh, Epic games launcher, disable all these that start off that you don't need them running. Okay. Um, from here, we're going to also disable some service, um, system configurations services. So go to uh, the start menu, type in system configuration. Once you type in system configuration, you're going to want to go to the services tab. Okay. And then from here, it looks like there's like a billion services in here. It's there's a lot. Just go ahead and click the hide all uh, Microsoft services. Okay. From here, you're, you don't want to click enable or disable. Just go through and like look and see like what things make sense. So like 
Adobe here, I don't need Adobe running, so I disabled it. Um, Apple's Bonjour service, don't need that, so I disabled it. But like Intel, um, Intel, um, Easy Cheat, uh, online services for Epic Games, I'm gonna keep this running because I don't want that to inter interrupt my gaming processes. Um, same with like Nvidia or like Google stuff, I'm gonna keep that running. Intel, I'm gonna keep that running. But again, here's like that leapfrog thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disable that. Uh, the malware byte services, I don't need that. I'm gonna disable that. Uh, these Microsoft things from MSI, I'm just gonna disable all those. Most of the Nvidia stuff, I'm gonna keep it running. Um, but like things like Overwolf or Plex, you can just go ahead and disable them. Um, very important though, you wanna make sure that your Steam is running. And if you're not sure what it is, and it looks like something's like important like Intel or a gaming service um, or something for like your graphics card, keep it running, don't disable it. But anything that looks out of the normal, just go ahead and disable it. Click apply, click okay. Um, and then at this point it's going to ask you to do a restart. If you want, what I would do is like, go ahead and just run a speed test real quick um, before restarting. So I would click exit, run a speed test and just see like what my, what my internet is beforehand and then run one afterwards. And you'll notice a big difference for sure. Uh, so I'll show you, this was my before. This was my before I had 64 pin connecting to the servers. My download was 592, my upload was 101. Um, and this was my after, um, I got my ping down to eight milliseconds and my download was jumped up a little bit with my upload so a little bit more bandwidth not not a lot, like a ton on the bandwidth i already had a really good internet bandwidth but the huge difference on the ping and in rock league being such a reactive game your ping matters a ton so it's gonna make a huge difference for you guys absolutely you'll notice your in-game as well it should go from like say you're getting i don't know 80 or like 90 um, it, it, it might go down to like 50 or 60. You might notice about like a 20 to 30 milliseconds, uh, reduction, but it's huge. It's huge. Let me know in the comments what you actually get in terms of reduction. Very curious to hear. And again, this is one of our ongoing series of tips for Rocket League gamers. We're going to be setting up, um, another video. Maybe I'll release it day after this one. And that's going to be on how to reduce your input delay. So this is how to reduce your ping. There's also something on how to reduce your input delay as well. And that's more on the actual um, game settings, your hardware settings, um, those kind of things. So that when you push a button, it reacts faster. Um, so yeah, there's two sides to it. Uh, this is the first half and we're going to get into the second half in another video. So stay tuned, hit the sub button and we'll see you next time. Coach Jaysu.